Okay, so back off on a video, going to go with here's here, olive version. I've plucked some of the olive here's here far off just before it's here about time. And I've got a size 10 camera B175 and a 3mm gold bead. I've got a wee length of lead wire, medium. And I'm just going to wrap that on. To where I think's enough. Just wrap it on. And then... Just trim away any waste and flatten that wee bit at the top down. And then just get a few more turns in there. And then trim away that. Fold it up against the shank. And then just you can do as a bit of super glue just around the front. And just push the wire up against the bead. Then what we're going to do is I'm going to use black uni thread and AO. And just going to give it a few passes through the wax. And then I'm going to tie in a few turns of thread. Cut off the waste piece. Then I'm going to use a bit of gold wire, small gold wire. Just tie it in on the side and then just let it come to the opposite side gradually. Just tie down on it until where you're wanting to put your tail in. Just, uh, just about where the barb is, roughly in this instance. Get a pheasant tail. And pick off however many fibres you want for the tail, quite a few probably. This is a bigger hook I guess, so take a wee bunch. And then what you want to do is just tie them in on the top. Just bunch between your thumb and forefinger and then bring down on top. Just get them sitting the way you want them, and then run your thread up, and just you can you can cut the wee kind of curly bits off here, and then just skip up onto the the lead, winding that up to the top. And then what you want to do is bring your thread back down to the base, a wee bit of wax, then get your dubbing and just get a nice kind of evenly mixed bit of dubbing and then just apply it to the thread. Just trying to get a noodle that tapers, yeah, you know, tapers at the bottom end, so thinner at the, the top of the thread and thicker towards the end. But you can always just add it as you go and amend it, so not to worry. So just once you've got it started, then just wind it up make sure it's just wind it up right to the top just see that there, just make sure that's on the thread and turning and there we go then just bring your thread back down over the hair to where you want the pheasant tail to pull back on. So just a bit there and then what you want to do is bring the wire up, the wire rib, 
roughly even turns and the top one and then just tie that off keep the thread tight and then just give it a few extra turns hold the thread and just bend and break away the wire then what you want to do is bring the bring the present back and then just pinch it in there and then a wee bit more wax and get some more of the dubbing just a thin noodle this time and just wind that forward just to create the thickness at the top and then what you do is by wax the thread bring the pheasant fibres forward just try and get them sitting the way you want them and then well I'm holding them in my right hand but just try and spin the thread and then give it a few turns just to tie it down then what you can do is just trim it away good sharp scissors trim it away and then just trim away as much as you can now and just give it a few turns of thread at the front then all you need to do is a wee bit of wax work finish tool and a few turns of work finish let the weight of the bobbin remove the thread bring it up keep it tight then just trim away now normally I would super glue but just because the fur's running about it there I don't like covering super glue I'll just add a wee bit of varnish using a cocktail stick just dab it on and just try and avoid the fur as much as you can now What you could do at this point is just get your velcro brush velcro and just give it a wee roughing up i've not got a velcro brush at the moment but you know you can just as i normally do pull the fibers out with the thin needle or the, the point of your work finish you know just to roughen it up a wee bit and get it looking fishy but there you go folks Go be here's your olive variant. I appreciate you watching. Thanks very much. Hope the fly works well for you. Tight lines.